I hate to admit it, but the sprinkle sprinkle lady is always right because I've been thinking about it and we should all take being ghosted way less personally because a lot of the times it has nothing to do with you as an individual and everything to do with a man wanting to explore his options. Wait, hold up. First of all, the sprinkle sprinkle lady is not a good example for any woman. You shouldn't be taking it, uh, advice from somebody that's clearly married. She's been married for a long time, and I doubt she has all the power in the relationship that she's claiming to have. You have to understand that women in those positions are eager to take advantage of women because women believe that no woman is going to give them bad advice, especially an older woman, especially a woman that's, that's married. There's no way that this woman can lead me astray. This woman is just using women. That's pretty much what it is. She's giving bad advice all day long. This woman right here is proof that how easy it is for women to just believe anything. And as far as men having the ability to explore options, men don't have a lot of options like that. Let's just keep it a buck. Even men that are super attractive don't have as many options as the average woman. So let's be honest about that. Men don't typically leave relationships either. They don't typically divorce either. So let's be real about that. And this whole idea of not accepting any kind of responsibility as a woman, nothing is ever your fault. It's not your fault you got ghosted. It's not your fault a man left you. It's not your fault a man doesn't want to deal with you. None of that is your fault. Just blame men for every single thing. Throw men under the bus. This has become the norm. And this is another reason why men don't want to deal with a lot of women. So based off my analysis, based off my observations, I feel like majority of the time we get ghosted because guys, they don't want to settle. Like, I feel like women, we're the gender that has been brainwashed into settling. We're the gender that gets with somebody and he may not be as attractive as we want him to be or as wealthy as we want him to be. But we will look at a man and we will be like, I can make this work. No, the thing is, is that women are predisposed to wanting to fix everything, especially fixing men. And a lot of times what happens is you get with these men that are considered, quote, bad guys, the women, the guys that all the women want. And these women are like, well, I can change him. He will change for me. And when he doesn't, then there's a problem because you can't change anyone. If somebody is rotten, they're just rotten. It is what it is. But women have this thing to where they think they can be the the one that saves the guy, you know, they can be the one that fix him, fixes him. He's going to turn over a new leaf just for her because she's so special. That is why women get with those guys because every other woman wants that guy. That's what it is. The guys that are opposite of that, the nice guys, they don't get no love. They don't get no play because they're perceived to have no type of action. Women want to deal with uh, men that they perceive that other women want and typically it's the guys that they deem to be the bad guys but again all they want to do is get those guys mold them and try to make them soft so they can be little puppies and when it doesn't work they have an attitude about it i can fix him and guys don't feel that way guys are not programmed like that like guys are always like I can do better. I can find better. I could find somebody prettier. I could find somebody that cooks and cleans. So me personally, I'm not going to take being ghosted personally. I'm not about to reach out to people anymore because I do have a problem with doing that. If somebody ghosts me, bitch, I got so much pride. I'd be feeling like I'm going to blow you up and I'm going to let you know, bitch, the bridge is burned. But no. Oh, yeah, you're you're exactly the type of female that these guys want all of this masculine behavior and all of this and that. And it's funny that you say these things and it sounds like you're just trying to switch it up and say what you think men say, what you're trying to do, what you think men do. The fact is, again, men do not have a lot of options like that. Men don't typically leave relationships or get divorced or anything like that. It's just not the case. It's women. Women don't want to change their attitude. They want men to just accept them for any kind of way. And there's nothing wrong with them acting out, cursing like a sailor, you know, doing all these crazy things. And it's just supposed to be accepted by men. But men are not dealing with that. Men are fed up with that. It's a waste of time. I've been, I've been playing the game 
way wrong because when you think about it, right, it's way more funny when somebody thinks that they can leave your life for an extended period of time and come back and still have the same access to you. Like that is way more satisfying knowing, oh damn, this person switched up. When they come back looking for Christina, Christina's gone. <laughs> And you sound like a, a real immature woman, really, really, really childish, seriously. And you wonder why men don't want to deal with that. And don't act like women don't ghost men all the time. Women play that game all the time. Women pretty much invented that game. So let's not try to throw men under the bus constantly, but at the same time, you want a man. You can't treat men badly and talk about men badly, but at the same time, want a man men are tired of it and any respectable man doesn't like to hear women talk about any man especially when they know that it's not true especially when you they know that you're just going overboard and you don't want to take any uh responsibility no accountability for your actions choose better develop a better character stop being ratchet stop being loose out in them streets stop showing all your skin Stop being loud and boisterous. Stop being aggressive. Stop trying to act like a man. And maybe, just maybe, you won't get ghosted. That's the truth. But I know you ladies don't want to accept that because everything is the man's fault. And you want to listen to women like the sprinkle sprinkle lady that you think is in your corner. She's really not. I got a question for you. Have you bought her book yet? What about all the other stuff she might be selling? Have you bought that yet? You guys are just suckers. You fall for anything these women tell you. That lady is happily married. You think she really cares about you? No, she doesn't care. One thing she does care about is not wanting you to be as happy as she is. And that's something that you need to understand as women. And that's something all you ladies need to understand. Stop listening to advice from women that really don't have your best interests at heart. That's one of the reasons why you're having so many problems because you're living your life through the lens of another woman and you think this woman cares so much about you. That's all I have to say about this video. You guys let me know what you think about it in the comments. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're on TikTok, make sure to give me a follow over there. Show me some love. I really appreciate it. And with that said, guys, have a good day. Peace. May the force be with you.